PA6CF is an incredible filament when you take the proper steps to get it to print correctly. In this video, I want to show you what worked for me printing PA6 from a 0.4 hardened steel nozzle with a gold PEI plate, what settings I used, what I did to prep the filament, and what the material is capable of in real world applications. What exactly is PA6CF? PA6CF, or polyamide 6, is an industrial grade composite nylon filament that is reinforced with carbon fiber. The nylon in the material provides toughness, flexibility, and impact resistance, is chemically resistant, and performs well under friction. The carbon fiber increases stiffness, improves dimensional stability, and enhances rigidity, not strength, making prints significantly stiffer and lighter. Some drawbacks to printing with carbon fiber, because it's an abrasive material, it requires a hard nozzle or it will cause rapid wear on something like a standard or a brass nozzle. The PA6 I'm using today is Sunlose variant that is a 80% nylon to a 20% carbon fiber blend. This filament was provided to me by Sunlose but this is not a sponsored video. They asked if I wanted to check it out and if I had a use case for it and I said yeah I have a work trailer that could use a bunch of stuff printed for it. Now on to printing and what worked for me with the 0.4 nozzle and a gold PEI sheet. If you're using the gold PEI like me, you will first need to apply some kind of adhesive or glue stick to get the material to stick. Just for fun, when I received the filament, I tried printing it without adhesive and the prints broke free every single time. This material also needs to be dried thoroughly. Nylon is highly hydroscopic, meaning it loves to absorb water, so you will absolutely need something to dry this material out. You could use a dedicated filament dryer or other methods as long as it heats up enough to actively dry the nylon. I dried the roll for around 12 hours before printing and I ran all the prints directly from the dryer while printing. Nylon can absorb moisture almost instantly, even while printing, so the drier you can get it, the better. Before printing, I first preheat the chamber of my X1C by setting the bed to 100 degrees Celsius and turning the auxiliary fan on around 40% to get the air moving around in the chamber nice and hot. I would usually let this heat up for about 20 minutes before loading the filament. For the profile preset, I used the Bamboo PACF profile and slowed down some of the parameters. This was kind of the sweet spot that I found, but this will vary depending on your printer. This material is recommended to use on a 0.6mm nozzle or higher, so I believe slowing down the print speeds a bit helps the carbon fiber clear the 0.4 nozzle. The temperatures on the preset worked great, but make sure you are on the PACF profile and not the PLACF profile. I made this mistake on accident, and while it didn't clog, a bunch of weird stuff started happening. So a checklist for what worked for me, and then on to showing the function and strength of some of the prints. If you use the gold PEI build plate, you will need to add some kind of adhesive. Dry your filament for at least 12 hours before printing, and make sure your drying method is getting hot enough for the nylon. Preheat your chamber for at least 20 minutes. Use the PACF preset and slow down the parameters. After following this checklist and working it into my workflow, I had zero clogs and beautiful prints every single time. I printed a bunch of parts for my work trailer that will be under constant stress and heat, especially during the summer months. This trailer can get well above 110 degrees Fahrenheit when all the equipment is running. I could get all sciency on the strength of the parts, but there are other channels that have already done that, so I just wanted to show the parts and how they will be used. I printed these brackets to help hold up shelving that we can throw items onto. I printed a nozzle for my Ego leaf blower. I printed a mount for my Ego leaf blower. I printed this pressure washer tip holder. A new throttle housing for this high speed electric scooter. These parts are all insanely strong and I have full confidence they will hold up to years of wear and tear. PA6CF can seem intimidating to work with, but once you get the material dialed in, it is incredible. I actually think I prefer using the 0.4 nozzle for it because of how clean the prints look. If you have any questions on the material or process, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you Sunlu for sending me the filament to try out. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next project.